Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Tremaine, and this is going to be your spoilers for Bold and Beautiful, the week of July the 27th. But first, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. I'm only about 300 subscribers away from reaching my next plateau of 23,000 subscribers, so please be one of those people to go on ahead and be part of the Soap Fam. Please hit that like button. If you hit that like button, let YouTube know that this is a good video for people looking for information on Bold and Beautiful and so that will help them to uh, want to recommend it and also just join in on the fun I just got to finish a live lots of information and lots of soap fan members uh, pass along information so you know subscribe hit that notification bell to make sure you get all of my posts now here we go for Monday July the 27th Steffi is unconscious and in the hospital after a turbo motorcycle accident Oh, we already know that. Ridge sits by her side, holding her hand and willing her to wake up. Well, that's how they left off on Friday. In the waiting room with Brooke, Bill inwardly goes through extreme guilt for being responsible for Steffi's condition. Dr. Penny Escobar is shocked to hear from Sally how Flo got her SOS to Wyatt. And reality washes over Penny and Sally as they realize they have big consequences to face from their shenanigans. Did not say kidnapping, they said shenanigans. Um, but anyway, it sounds like Monday is almost like a recap episode. On Tuesday, July the 28th, Detective Sanchez, you know, the little guy shows up. They give him the worst wardrobe. It's like, a, he looks like a little kid putting on big boy clothes that are too big for him. They give him no respect. Anyway, on Tuesday, July 28th, Detective Sanchez takes Bill's statement while Brooke processes what has happened. Ridge is alone with Steffi as she awakes to realize the extent of the pain from her injuries. Uh, Sally explains to Wyatt how her deception began um, from her first visit to the doctor and seeing Katie in the hospital and how her lie continued to grow. Wyatt is in disbelief at how Sally played him. Penny apologizes and Sally begs for forgiveness. Dr. Finnegan rushes in to examine Steffi when he realizes that she is conscious. On Wednesday, July the 29th, Flo, Wyatt, and Penny panic when they realize that Sally is having a true medical emergency. Penny jumps into doctor mode as Flo calls 911. Liam arrives at the hospital and Brooke updates him on Steffi's condition. He is shocked to learn that Bill is, is the cause of Steffi's accident. Ridge demands Bill leave when Bill asks if he may see Steffi and apologize. Steffi downplays her pain and asks Liam not to tell Kelly about her accident. Kelly is a baby. Can she even comprehend what that would she's a baby don't tell the baby about the accident I was not going to remember the conversation anyway okay Thursday July 30th so the baby can't even talk <laughs> I'm just sad uh, Sally Thursday I'm sorry Thursday July 30th Sally begs Wyatt to forgive her Steffi's doctor tells her that her injuries will take Weeks to heal, so if she needs pain meds, to let him know. Later, Dr. Finnegan explains in, uh, to Ridge that Steffi is trying to power through without medications. Steffi refuses to talk uh, to Ridge or Liam about her pain, but instead asks, um, asks about Kelly. Um, I guess it says ask after Kelly. I'm assuming it must mean like asked to look after Kelly. I think they forgot a word. Uh, Sally continues to, um, to attempt to make amends to Wyatt. Later, she asks Flo if she thinks Wyatt will ever forgive her. Why are they making Sally so freaking pathetic? And, and Wyatt is such wishy-washy. He's like Liam. Sally can do so much better. Friday, July 31st. They really need to stop playing and put Sally with Bill. They had the perfect setup for that. Anyway, Friday, July 31st. Hope, Liam, and Beth prepare to welcome Steffi home from the hospital. 
Steffi is in more pain than she is allowing anyone to see. Before discharging her, Dr. Finnegan reminds her not to be a hero and to take pain medication. Flo and Wyatt reveal Sally's lie to Katie. Katie goes to Sally's apartment to confront her about being a pawn in her game. Wyatt proclaims his love for Flo. Who cares? <laughs> I had to put that at the end. Oh, man. You know, I probably would like Flo better if she was with somebody other than Wyatt. The actress, uh, Katrina Bowen, has not had an opportunity to really explore interactions with other people in the cast. So, you know, this whole Wyatt thing, it, it just feels so forced. But y'all can let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this. Okay, wait, hold up, time out. Uh, I ended my video, said goodbye, and realized that I didn't talk about the elephant in the room, which is all of the social distancing changes that had to have been done for Bold and the Beautiful. We talked about this in the live, and we also talked about it in the SoFam group. You can find that in the description box. Um, the link to that if you want to join our SoFam group. And, of, of course, always... The other links for my Twitter and Instagram are down there too if you want more entertainment news and information. Not just soaps, but entertainment in general. Um, all those links are down there. But we didn't talk about all of the things we caught. Now, it was clear through social distancing, um, it's not six feet apart, it's eight feet apart for uh, SAG actors. They have to be eight feet apart. So they got to be more part than you have to be when you go to the supermarket um and so it was clear that we saw a bill in the hospital and you know everybody who encountered him pretty much talked to him from across the room which was fine that wasn't too bad um we also saw a shot of bill where he was looking at Steffi in her room it was shooting over her shoulder but clearly the person who was actually in the room with her was much smaller. So what's happening is a lot of the actors and actresses are using their real life boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wives as the stand-ins because they live together. And so they don't have to social distance because they don't do it at home. So a hug, a kiss, a love scene, anything like that, um, where they have to be more than, where they have to be close up together, you're going to see somebody that's not the person. I think the worst part of it that was Wyatt and Flo, because when, let's say when Wyatt was with Sally, we saw some things where he never left from where the door was, that area, to where she was across the room, sort of just shouting their lines at each other. Um, and then even when she walked up close to him, the next shot of her, she was way back over at the couch. So you could still see them continuously social distancing. And when he found Flo at Sally's apartment, you know, they spent so much time of them looking at each other, zooming in on their eyes, you know, it was weird, <laughs> but Flo and him, when they finally hugged, the person she hugged had black hair, whereas the actor playing Wyatt has lighter hair. So that was the first thing that just stood out to me. It was like, couldn't they get her boyfriend or whoever he was to dye his hair, give him a little money to dye his hair, say, hey, look, here's, you know, $5,000. Can you dye your hair, you know, so you look more like Wyatt? Um, he also seemed to have more facial hair, too. So, he didn't change anything about himself to do these scenes with Katrina as well. Um, and then, we got to talk about Flo with the stocking tied to the, to the radiator or whatever it was. You got to do better, because... She could have even took one of those pencils that when Sally fell, the one she wrote on her, and start poking at it so can, she can start cutting it or anything like that. She could have been using her finger to get into the... when That kind of knot, the more you pull, the tighter it gets. So you don't pull. 
Instead, you go in and you start working a knot, and it takes a minute, but you can pull it up. You can pull it apart because Sally was technically knocked out. She could have done so many different things to try and free herself. How she could try to chew through it for all you know, just a lot of ways. It's it's a, it's not like they took a chain and padlocked her with the chain and padlocked her to you know the radiator, or whatever she was. She was. It wasn't anything like that. You can't chew through a train chain. You can't necessarily break a chain. So, but a little stocking is tied. What's she gonna do? They did better just having her knocked out the whole time. That would have been the easiest way to explain why she didn't just get up from stocking or, you know, had her wrist tied and her feet tied. But the thing that I thought was really stupid is she's a baby kidnapper. She held, you know, that baby secret for, for almost a year, it seemed like. And, you know... What Sally did to her wasn't anywhere near as bad as what she did to Hope, her her own cousin. So, mm, so you know, I, I thought that I don't like hypocrisy, and they keep trying to make Flo to seem like this saint, this angel, this good guy, and clearly she's not. Um, I mean, is that all? Um, also, I noticed that when Steffi was in the room, was in bed. And Ridge came into the room. They did have a shot. It was either Ridge or Bill. I can't remember right now. But where it showed them sort of like side by side. Which was clearly a composite. Which means they filmed him. And then they filmed her. And then they spliced it together. So that it looks like they're in the same room at the same time. It's the same thing they do when characters are playing twins. And they want to make it look like twins are in the same room at the same time. That's what they did for that scene. To make it look like Ridge and Steffi were close together. Um, other than that, he was just holding a the hand. They weren't showing whose hand he was holding. So we knew it wasn't Steffi. Um, but I think overall they did okay. It, it's, except for that whole flow stuff. They were good. I, I, they were good. Um, and... I said on a live, I really don't want to complain too much about how they put this together because we all wanted the show back. We all know that they have to make social distancing. That's a real thing. And no matter how you feel about it, this, you know, if you're one of those people, oh, I can't wear a mask. It's, over. it's real. People are catching it. It's real. So we need our actors protected. And so we, you know, we got to just. Either you can not have the show at all, or you can have these weird looking social distancing scenes, but the storyline moves forward. That's the most important thing. And um, so that's it. I just want to say, if you are a person out there who doesn't like that the actors aren't touching and kissing and holding it up close together, don't complain about it. Keep it to yourself. Because the only other thing they can do is just stop production and wait until they can go back to normal, which could be a year from now. So, don't put the negativity out there. You can notice like things that happen. Like people used to have fun with Dark Shadows because it was filmed live, and you know you would see boom mics and stuff in there. People from the crew walking across the shots and stuff like that. And people have whole books about that. And I feel like that's what will happen with this. People will look for all of the errors that happened in Bold and the Beautiful and have fun with it. Whereas some people are negative and they would just complain, complain, complain. Me, I'm more of a have fun with it. I like catching all of the things. Like they're supposed to use blow up dolls in some scenes and mannequins in some scenes. I can't wait to be able to do a video like, did y'all see that mannequin? Not that they shouldn't have had it, but the fact that I caught it. He didn't trick me. <laughs> so I'm just going to try to have fun with it. And I hope you do too. And I hope you take that mindset. Because it's so easy to just be negative. And go, oh man, I just want things to be normal. Well, things aren't normal. That's not the world we're living in right now. So um, thanks for watching. And I will catch you in the next video. Let me know what you think about the upcoming Bold and Beautiful 
episodes for next week now that you heard the spoilers for them and also what do you think about the social distancing things the actors have to do to make sure you get new episodes of your shows thanks for watching